Our god is no more. And we, the lowly mortals, are the ones who killed him. Now, the cursed remnants of humanity exist under the perpetual reign of his mournful ashes, condemned to a never-ending circle of hate and resentment. As punishment for our ancestral sin, our breaths are cut short as soon as we hit 40 of age. We are barren shells, unable to sleep, the desire to bring forth new life. Our last hope for a better tomorrow lies in a divine forgiveness that only bloodshed can grant us. Four Vestals shall hail from the Four Lands. Sentia, where memories of old still sing. Dalham, ever untamed and never bound. Flamen, hearth of steel and spires. And our home, born from thunder and storms, Ashrim. In the end, only one pair of soiled hands will hold the salvation we desperately seek. Once every 10 years, our somber march to the Equinox Cathedral ushers war in. Kneeling in front of the flame of Vesta, we swear to repent. Oh, ancient sin, stain us in red so that we may never forget the firmament's grief. O oh, ancient sin, grant us this holy pardon, so that we may one day mend our shattered heaven. You're already dead. Strike true, my blades! Do I look merciful to you? What? Scared to face an Ashram warrior?
This smells so sweet. best you can do. For Ashram! Journey's end, at last. You wish. This is only the beginning. So that's the Equinox Cathedral? It's so... shiny. This is the most sacred place on Earth, and the only thing you can say is... It's so shiny? <laughs> good to see you two in such good spirits. We still have a way to go after all. Ugh. Step by step, the tower drew closer. Immaculately white against the barren plain, its masonry formed a tight reticle that enveloped the sacred building. And then, the grand portal opened, flanked by his two armored guardians. A stern-looking old man stepped forward. Whatever. Out of that gate came a young woman, black hair that gracefully danced in the air with every step of hers, and a sharp, bewitching gaze. Following close behind, two severe-looking warriors strode forward with pride. The Vestal of Sentia and her guardians 
had arrived. Is this my welcoming party? Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better one. I'm glad to see you here in one piece, Enra. It's been a while, Lyra. <laughs> Such a cold reception. You're breaking my heart, darling. After all these years, I expected you to be a tad happier to see me. What do you want me to do? Should I, uh, jump into your arms? Screaming, greetings, oh great Vestal of Sentia? Oh, <laughs> I would be delighted. Sure. Oh, really? Right. Remarkable. What? What? The landscape passing beneath them was alight with small refractions, each a gem embedded in stone. This was Sintamania, home of the pious tribe of Sentia, and a jewel at the gates of hell. Look at all these sparkling stones. Oh, I would love to live here. It's indeed a pleasure for the eyes. <clears throat> Are you all right? Keep quiet. We're entering the pit. Every child knew that the hallowed chasm was to be revered as much as it was to be feared. A cursed place where dead souls gather. A grim sepulcher full of malicious energy. The reign of the treacherous queen. As they delved into darkness, their hearts tightened uneasily. But then there was a light and a gentle breeze. 
Under the descending pulley, a splendid plateau extended as far as their gaze could reach. What's this colorful rain? It's not ashes. Flower petals. They are pretty, but completely useless. Can I eat them? No! We're in hostile territory. Everything you see here can hide a trap. Indeed. As peaceful as this place might look, I feel like we are being watched. 